3,760 pounds. This is the new Winnebago 2100 bunkhouse here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Check the link in the video description that says check for price and availability if you'd like to see if we have one in stock, how it is equipped and what we're asking. And remember that the one that we have in stock could be very, very different from this one, even if it's just cosmetics. Uh, Winnebago's very cool. Uh, with their uh, T60, uh, true gel coat like diesel pusher skin that they have here. This is the best fiberglass in the towable RV industry by the way and understand I carry a lot of different products here so for me to say something like that's a big deal. They spend a lot of money on that skin but my point is they offer it in like six or seven different exterior color packages so the one that we have in stock could look very different. Now uh, this is a uh, a big brother to the 1700 no slide single axle micro mini and it's uh, I guess you could call it a little brother to the 2455 uh, 8 foot wide mini that we also carry here at Halet RV. So uh, you see that they've gone through a little bit of uh, updates compared to previous generations the micro minis. We've got the slam latches, the magnet latches all standard all the way around now. Now this model where they have killed it is it has just cavernous, absolutely cavernous front storage capacity here. You see that quick easy reach battery disconnect on the left there, that red switch? That will prevent your electronics uh, from uh, putting a phantom load on the RV and causing dead battery issues. You see the uh, aluminum skeletal reinforcement here. We've got uh, plywood decking above us. Some people ask, well, you know, if they're so high quality, because Winnebago's absolutely are, this is one of the, the brands, three brands specifically, that has the absolute utmost of stellar service records here at our facility. And that's a big statement considering all the different brands that we carry. But if they're so high quality, why are they using wood under the bed? Well, the answer is because there's nothing wrong with wood. Uh, basically what they found through testing is they were not uh, decreasing weight, they were only increasing cost, and that's silly. So this is very intelligently built, very well built, but intelligently built. They're not throwing money at this frivolously. That being said, this is certainly not the least expensive lightweight you can find out there, but it is absolutely one of the best crafted. Um, this is a uh, seven foot wide member. That's the, all the micro minis are seven foot wides. If you're looking for a little bit bigger body, check the eight foot wide uh, segment. Um, these guys really go head to head a lot with the Coachman Apex Nano models and the smaller seven wide Apexes that we carry here at Halet RV. And they're both very good for different reasons. Um, the uh, it, it just kind of depends on what side of the coin you're looking for. Interestingly, Apex is one of the other of the three brands that is extremely well uh, constructed. Um, these, I don't know, it, it's like it, people come in and one speaks better than the other. And the best way I can describe it is like if you go to the grocery store, uh, they always seem to carry seven types of vanilla ice cream. Sometimes one just tastes better than the other to you. Uh, so the first thing I want to start talking about here, let's talk structure. This rides on a different kind of chassis from most of the RV industry. This is on a Norco chassis, which is a Z-frame uh, aircraft style chassis made with HSLA steel, high strength, low alloy. What that means in English is lighter but stronger, not less expensive. There's nothing wrong with I-beams. It's just that uh, RVs on this chassis seem to work a little bit better most of the time. There are exceptions. Uh, I already mentioned one, Apex. Now, we uh, the, the power tongue jack, power awning, um, well, power awning became standard, didn't used to be. Power tongue jack uh, is something that we've uh, been adding to these. They're thinking about making that standard. So chances are the RV that we have in stock is going to look more and more like this. Although, again, the one we have in stock could be very different interior or exterior decor. Simple solar prep up here on the uh, front corner. If you choose to pick up a little portable panel, we have those available here at Halet RV. Four corner stabilizer jacks. There is a gas grill quick connect on the other side of the RV near the nose for easy access. Now, this is a typical fire escape window right here but on the other side you may have noticed the largest bedroom window in class that's a very cool thing they do here um, all the windows are UV tinted all windows will open for ventilation including that upper bunk window right there that's actually an additional fire escape window um, they actually didn't have to make it that they they made it a fire escape window to provide ventilation now little detail stuff is what separates a lot of things if you get down here you kind of take a knee if you look in the wheel well 
You see galvanized steel. This has blowout guard wheel wells. Now, if you're going to continue to go highway speeds after you experience a, a flat tire or a blowout, I don't care what kind of uh, you know bulletproof protection they put down there, eventually you're going to see damage. And in my career, I've actually seen three RVs. They were older, admittedly, and they weren't the uh, highest of caliber RVs in, even when they were brand new. But I've seen three RVs completely totaled due to flat tires. It really can happen. So that extra protection down there is that hopefully you don't need it, but you're going to be glad when you do. I call it cough medicine protection. Hope you never need cough medicine. It's important to have it when you need it. Little things they do here that impress me. On this little micro mini series, they're still doing separate cable and park uh, TV hookups. That's a very uncommon thing. It's very cool to see that here. Now, uh, various versions of, of this floor plan are out there. Some include the, the bunkhouse garage door right here. Some do not. Um, there's benefits both ways. So what Winnebago's done here is they've created a, a, a traveling cargo area that I think you're going to enjoy. So you can flip up this bunk deck and it actually can lock in place, though I don't think you really need to. Um, and what you can create is just this big garage cargo space. Now, some brands will, will put like a uh, water heater or something right here or a furnace. And Winnebago opted to leave this open for max cargo space. Now, if you really want to see how something's built, Look inside of it, look under things. Look at all the little reinforcement on this. It's all real plywood. It's all, you know, like lumber. I mean, they, they're, they're, they're not using OSB and beaver puke and particle board putting this together. And there are certain applications actually where things like OSB are the preferred material. There are times where that is a good material, but for general structural type stuff, I, I think I would prefer this, but at the same time, you're paying more for it. That's the offset, you know, nothing comes free. This is also a good chance to get to see the pocket screwed cabinetry of Winnebago, which means that it does have true lumber core cabinetry because you can't pocket screw a, uh, a particle board. It'll shred. Now that is lockable. That is deadboltable. And that is one of the things people get concerned with with the garage door is, what about my kids? What about security? And as a paranoid new dad, well, I, seven years ago, but I never got rid of the new dad paranoia. I get it. I understand that. But what I can tell you is that there's a difference between practice and theory in this in this uh, application. Right behind that spare tire that you can't see because there's too much sun variance. Here we go. Spare tire, you got a uh, uh, outside shower with hot and cold water. So if the kids are out in the lake, you can easily hose them down. Uh, this does have a full walk-on roof. We've got a 3 8 roof deck, a 5 8 tongue and groove uh, plywood floor deck, all aluminum skeleton in your structural stuff, like I mentioned previously. Max length power awning, and it is, uh, the arms do have a, a tilt feature on them. You can tilt the arm, twist a knob, lock it down, and you're good to go. The other thing about this, where it's fantastic, 3,760 pounds or whatever, very comfortably towable. If you've got that uh, tow package SUV or something like that, you're going to be fine. Now, if you have a tow package, it's only like 42 or 4,500 pounds. By the time you load this up, you're really going to be maxing out your capacity, and I don't like doing that. I prefer to be safer. I prefer to be more real-world realistic, so keep that in mind. But could you do it? Yeah. If you're going to be flatland local camping, you'll be all right. If you've got any kind of truck, you're probably going to be aces on this thing all day long. I love the fact that I can stand here and get the entire thing in the frame. It's just, it's got such a cool, good look to it. Um, outside TV hookups right here. Next to your wheel well, remember in front of that uh, double step between the step and the stabilizer jack is your outside grill connect. And you do have the standard bigger entry handle. What's funny is the way you're looking at them built here is now mostly standard, but that did not used to be the case. This is actually how we built them for many years. And we've become, uh, in this region, uh, we are the most successful independent dealer of Winnebago uh, towable RVs. And they said, you know, you guys seem to have it figured out we should uh, probably standardize a lot of what you're doing so we we literally had a hand in how this thing is uh built and outfitted the uh oh entry door i keep forgetting to talk about this on the winnebago's this is a, a newer feature at the time of this filming very cool thing so it's got an anti-slam entry door which is nice but then i noticed you've got this little tension band right here it's a automatic closed screen door basically just a simple feature but a neat feature i like the extra little detail stuff that they're putting in there now this does have an 18 gallon per hour uh, gas electric auto ignition fast recharge water heater in point of technicality it's 17.8 gallons but for the sake of simplicity and and you know <laughs> 
I, I'm not into semantics, uh, 18 gallon per hour. Let's take a peek inside. It's funny, I already had it figured out what I wanted to say once I got inside this RV. And when I jumped on my Facebook feed this morning, uh, a guy that uh, I kind of follow too, because, you know, I, I follow different RV people. His name's Pat Bremer. He's a big time small trailer enthusiast. Uh, he beat me to the punch. He saw this camper one day before me and he absolutely stole my thunder. So I'm going to give him credit for this. He said, you know what? They did well here. What drives me nuts is... I see all these things like a uh, manufacturer will make a little no slide ver bunkhouse version of something like this and they say, oh, it can sleep four, but it can only sit two. They only give you a two person dinette. That's the biggest benefit of the dinette slide here on the Winnebago 2100 versus the Little Brother 1700 BH. You get a full family dinette, a four person dinette. And that is an area that you don't typically get with a layout like this because really the only significant difference inside between this and the 1700 is the dinette slide. But it's the difference between sitting down with two people and sitting down with four people. Now something I really want to draw attention to here, first of all, remember different decors are available. This is the graphite decor, there's also the stone decor which is like a neutral brown. Um, is the uh, the light dark contrast in the flooring. So this is an above floor self-adjusting slide out. If it gets a little bit out of whack, every time you open it or close it, it will try to sort itself out a little bit. The other thing here is that you see it's completely carpetless. Now a lot of brands will give you total carpetless on the main deck and then around the dinette, they still give you carpet. And the reason they do that is because it's much, much easier for production. It's easier to, to wrap carpet around. You can slice carpet and make it fit, and you can't see a seam. A customer can't see a seam. So it's very friendly from a production standpoint. This was not built uh, to be factory friendly. This was built to be owner friendly. And what they've done here, by running that uh, linoleum flooring in the slide and then fully trimming it out here, this is money. Most factories are not willing to spend. It takes extra material, it takes extra labor time that less expensive carpet could actually save. This is not built to be the dollar cheaper model. This is built to be the full feature, full effect model. Remember this window opens for ventilation. Actually, it tilts open so you can use it on a rainy day. If you uh, do the old wedding ring test, you start tapping around all your slide fascia, you're going to hear wood, not foam. Uh, you know, superior materials are what compose Winnebago RVs. Like, uh, another good example of the little detail things they do, since I'm banging on that topic right now, apparently, is the way that they fully frame out their door jams. Walk into Winnebago and, and grab a door jam and just try to, like, reef on it. It doesn't move anywhere. It can't. Even without the jacks down, this doorway maintains square. It doesn't get out of whack. It doesn't get screwed up. That's the Winnebago advantage. The extra material, quality of construction, engineering that goes into this. Um, I actually came up with an idea to change a seating arrangement in an uh, existing Winnebago model. And they said, oh, well, we're going to have to really run that past engineering because we want to make sure that it doesn't throw the frame or any weight ratios or anything out of whack. And I couldn't believe it. What I thought was a simple chair swap, they're like, we better completely engineer this thing to make sure. They are so specific and careful. But, you know... Winnebago is RVing. A lot of times when people come in to look at motorhomes, uh, they say, I'm, I want to see the Winnebagos. <laughs> it's just, it's funny. So, I mean, they've, they've earned that. Now, the kitchen here is has fantastic storage in it. I love the, the fact, too, that we have a double sink. And I, I purposely left those uh, sink covers kind of wacky there so they could really uh, detect that. Notice, too, that this is stainless. That's another thing with Winnebago. Again, superior materials. They could save money. They could probably save weight with a, uh, a less expensive uh, plastic sink, but that's just not who they are. The entertainment center right here, you can see it from the bed. It's also directly across from the slide, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, DVD, Bluetooth, all-in-one, all kinds of good stuff. A little neat thing they do right here, too. Um, they actually have hard disconnect switches for the slide and the awning. So, like, right now, I'm actually running power to the slide out. Well, they let you turn that off. So that, again, you don't get phantom load eating your batteries alive. Now, remember all of our cabinetry is pocket screwed, uh, lumber core type stuff, and a big full-size refrigerator, six cubic foot, two-door freezer, or fridge and freezer, pardon me, phrase that poorly. 
In little campers and your single axle stuff, you don't typically get that. Uh, obviously, this is a tandem axle, which is one of the reasons, uh, if you look between this and the 1700 Winnebago, you're going to be like, holy cow, there's a big price gap between them. And yes, yes, there absolutely is. There's about 700 pounds difference, and there's a significant price difference between them. Again, review our website to see what we have in stock and what they're running. But the reason for that is when you go to a tandem axle, you are completely changing the chassis. You're adding a whole axle and running gear, plus the slide out. So the axle plus the slide are the reasons there's a, a weight and price gap between this and the 1700. Notice those extra little USB plugs there for the kids on a rainy day. That is for mom and dad's sanity. Now this bathroom, it admittedly is not large. It's not intended to be large. It's intended to be small, compact, functional but it accomplishes those goals extremely well. Now, foot flush stool, and I hope you don't get camera sick here. You notice you've got plenty of leg room here. Even a big guy like me can fit into this. And we also have a full shower, not a tub, and shower wall surround paneling, the protective shower paneling in here. Because again, they're not trying to save money, they're trying to build a superior product. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean superior price tag. So you, you need to decide how important different things are to you. And that's why we carry so many different RVs here at Hayglet RV. They're all the best for a different reason. Just because something has the most or arguably the best equipment doesn't mean that it is the best RV for you. Maybe something is overbuilt. Maybe you don't need something like this, but maybe you want something like this. That's the difference, you know? Um, Remember, full storage under that bed. And the entire bed can lift to access that storage. Remember how I talked about the big bedroom breeze window on the outside. This It just lets in so much light. That's another thing they've done in this RV. With the big windows and then the very light wood tones, uh, it, it looks and feels larger in here. It doesn't feel like a small seven wide camper. And the inclusion of that full overhead storage up front is just a very intelligent idea. Pleated shades for privacy and cooler interiors kind of round everything out here. I already mentioned that it's carpetless and easy to clean. This is a winner. I mean, this is an absolute winner. Like I said, if you got a tow package, SUV, small truck, or if you just, maybe you have a big truck, but you just don't want a big camper. That's where this one could really, really fit for you. I think that uh, a lot of people are going to be happy taking this one home. So give us a call. Uh, Halet RV here. We only do everything. <laughs> Hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping. Hey, uh, quick correction. The bed does not lift on the inside for storage. I double-checked myself right after I said that because I had a weird itch crawl up the back of my neck and found out, no, that was not right. So at least you know... We can admit when we're wrong, and we try to make right on our, our mistakes here at Halo RV. Thanks, guys.